Hey, this is Dr. Dan, and when I'm not teaching, I'm actually working on house projects. Today's house project is I'm actually installing some recessed puck lights in our addition, and I want to show some of the construction details for that process. Here are the recessed LED puck lights. They come as two pieces. One of them is the light unit itself. You can see that it clips into either drywall, or actually I'm going to clip them um, into a recessed fitting. And then here is the other piece, which is basically the control unit. This is actually where your wiring comes into. You knock out um, one of those three knockouts, bring your wiring inside. And this wire here then connects over to the light itself. Now just to show a few details of how we actually installed these, we've got these, our, we had some six inch lights. And so we actually laid out the lights on the floor and then lasered up to these brackets, actually built a little insert uh, into the hole so I could always mark the center of that hole. But we use these six inch halo inserts, uh, mainly so we get the lights all laid out and we get our drywall cut real accurately. Show a few more details here. You can see that we've actually stapled the wire with a bit of slack in it. Uh, the reason we've done this is if the control box here, which we have zip tied onto the overall housing, um, ever dies, you're going to want to be able to get that out. In order to get it out, you're going to have to bring it down here through this hole. Okay, so everything has to be able to come down through the hole, so leave yourself a bit of Romex, and then somehow either you don't have to fasten the boxes in place, but we find that just best to keep them out of the way of the um, drywall roto zips. Yeah, just to make sure we knew where they were or they weren't kind of hiding um, up in the drywall somewhere. And so today what I'm doing is actually um, installing some insulation baffles so that insulation doesn't fall through these holes. This is up to a second floor where we're going to put in some sound deadening insulation between them. And what we're using for an insulation baffle is actually a pie pan. I looked into a lot of different options and found that this was the most economical uh, thing that I could use. And I'll show you a few details on how I get that installed. So just two details before I install these. One is I bend over this edge because it actually butts up against the control box. The other one is that you can see there that I poke a little hole, kind of a crossways hole, with my utility knife. And that'll actually be where the wire for this pokes down through. So here's the actual installation. I've got my pie pan prepped, hole punched, head bent over here. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slip through the wire I'm gonna slide this here into place, kind of tuck up the hole I made for the wire, and then butting it up against my control box, I actually ended up with pie pans that were just the right size that they can actually bend around the edges. Now you could do all sorts of things. You could tape these with foil tape. You could zip tie them as long as you had access to your zip ties. I actually found that this works pretty well and it holds in place. Um, one of the added benefits is getting this wire out here in the middle actually will keep it away from the roto zip as it goes around here um, trimming that drywall. So we'll keep that safe. If you want to, you can tuck it up a little bit higher, but still accessible to pull down. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I've got a lot of videos here on my channel, a lot of them dealing with teaching engineering. I teach statics and dynamics at Colorado State University. Uh, but I hope this is really useful to you. If it was, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.